guys, we got a new car in today from uh, Crowball. Uh, let's check it out. All right, here we go. We got a new 114th scale truck from Corbel. Same company that makes my buggy right there, which we did a review on it once before already. Let's check this thing out and see how it is. body it's got the same controller set up as the buggy all the connections are the same as the buggy let's get that body off and let's see what they've got going on underneath all right everybody here it is with the body off did a little updating with the ESC and receiver combination still got the same 390 motor but a still pretty good motor. Runs on a 7.4 milliamp, 1500 milliamp battery. Uh, it's got everything's plastic, plastic control arms, plastic steering links, plastic wheels, uh, soft plastic bumpers, uh, shocks or friction shocks, but they are adjustable. I feel like it would have been a little bit better with um, oil filled shocks. Let's see how springy it is. I like how the uh, body's got reinforcements here because also too the body does have lights there. There's lights there in the grill. I like the color scheme on this and also too I do like that the clips come with these little tabs on them. Unlike the previous models where it's just the clips just the clips no tabs to help pull them off. This is a 114th scale, so we're going to compare it to my uh, his and hers 114th scale little basher, which, by the way, this truck is amazing. I have beaten that truck up, jumped it off my house, and it still runs, but we're not here to talk about that. Let's get the body back on here. Well, you can definitely tell there is just a little bit of a slight size difference. Just a little bit. There, there, just the body making it look like that. The wheelbase is definitely just a little bit wider, but they are both 114th scale. But like I said, we're not here to talk about this guy. We're here to talk about this one. Uh, I got a battery on the charger right now. We're going to get ready to go let it rip. Battery's fully charged. Battery's in. Got batteries in the transmitter. Let's go take it for a drive. Well, it's not very fast, but it, it does move pretty good. Let's 
steering is pretty good. Front tires are bouncy a little bit, probably because of the uh, friction shocks. It's all spring right there. That's all out right there. That's full throttle. Let's check the brakes on it. Brakes are pretty good. Oh. Rest of the grass pretty good. Jumps off the curb. Pretty good. Remember guys, I'm doing all this one-handed and filming at the same time. There you go. High speed pass by. Yeah. I don't have a GPS speedometer there. I said that's probably about yeah, 10, 15 mile an hour, 20 tops. Let's see what happens when you jump it off the back of my truck. Ready? Here we go. Oh no! I we're right here in my backyard test track. The track's a little torn up right now. I've been dealing with some rain, but let's uh, see how it does for just a little bit. skate park we're gonna do some driving to see what we how it does You can run these on a 2S LiPo, so we're going to try a LiPo and see what happens. Just want to say for a good entry level or beginner RC or just the average 
RC guy that just wants something to play around with. I want to say this is a pretty good one. It comes with two lithium ion batteries, which drive time on it's pretty long. I went through about 20, 30 minutes on one pack. Uh, I will be posting uh, a link down below to where you can get it and all the specs and information on the bottom of it. Uh, please like and share this video and subscribe.